What's up everybody? Welcome back to Red Thorns Gaming. I've got Fortress Siege, number 47 in the series, here in Lineage 2 Revolution this evening. Big week. We had a server merge, or should I say servers merge. Staris, the server I'm in, merged with three others to form the newly Lamel server, or Lamel, however you want to say it. I believe that's how you... That's what it is, Lamel, Lamel, whatever. And as such, there's been some issues with logging in. There were issues in the beginning, at least. I was number 388 in the queue. I believe it was on Thursday. It seems like they fixed it, or maybe I found a little workaround for that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything about that anymore. Alliances. Alliances have been completely and utterly revamped and remade. Clans have disbanded consolidated, joined up with each other, whatever. It's It's been a mess. I spent about an hour on Friday morning trying to fix my Alliance page in my Discord server. But let's get into this. We have four real fights, two new fortress grades. Unfortunately, the top two tier fortresses aren't any of the real fights, right? The more things change, the more they say the same. But let's let's see what's going on here. First fight is a, from or against Fear Factory versus Legendary. Fear Factory here at number 4, 281,293,090 combat power in totality for their clan. They are fighting against the number 8, Legendary, 267,113,833 combat power in totality for their clan. Legendary, they are independent from my understanding. I've been getting a lot of feedback about all these new alliances and stuff. Legendary, I was told, is independent. 281 over 267. I'm looking at... Well, what is that? 20 million? Oh, a little less than 20 million, obviously. 12 million, 11 million, 15 million. I can't do math. Whatever. We will see how it works out. We know combat power doesn't mean anything. Let's see what these clans paid. This is for S-Grade. As we all know, whenever there's a, a server merge... Everyone gets kicked out of their fortresses, and the bidding is sometimes interesting, sometimes not. Here we have Legendary and Fear Factory, 15 and 12 million for an S grade. That's actually kind of low in the past, but now that we have R's and SR's, that's probably going to potentially become the standard. So let's head into this one. All right, I have no idea who the leaders are. I have no idea about anything about these two. These two came from the other servers that merged with Starus. So I see their leader there. But we got three minutes, a little less than three minutes. And we're back with a minute and 30 seconds remaining before the beginning of this battle. There is Legendary in the blue on the top. Neither did the, the attackers nor the defenders. Both teams are the attackers, and I'll get into that in a little bit. There's a leader, Messi1108, easy enough to find. Probably the first time in a while for the blue team. Let's head on down to the red team. Fair Factory, in the red, on the bottom. Looking for their leader. Wow. A lot going on here. Usually I find the reds leader pretty quickly. And there they are, Psychopata. Hashtag. I guess somebody else already took that name, just like somebody took Whitethorn. I've been Whitethorn since 2000, what, 17, 16, 17? I don't know. Good luck to both teams. Ten seconds before it begin. Five seconds before it begin. And here we go. Fortress Seas, number 47, Legendary versus Fear Factory. We're going to be following Fear Factory. Why not? They're red. And there goes Fear Factory. Crashing up to... Where I don't see any... Defensive towers there. What is really going on with that? Fear Factory. Temp stamp up for the next three minutes. Where are the defensive towers? Is it just a gate now? Or do they just attack the gate? What is really going on here? Legendary, trying to go for their own altar imprint. Interrupted. No defensive towers. What? Boy, so many changes in this last update. 
I'm looking on down here. They don't have any defensive towers either. I see no defensive towers around the Holy Artifact either. I wonder if that was done on purpose. I, I couldn't even begin to guess. Leg legendary. Interrupted again. Legendary trying again. Let's go on, come on down. No defensive towers. Wow. I, I'm sure that was probably posted somewhere about their plans and what they were trying to do with that. Fear Factory. Now getting Legendary's Alter Imprint over halfway. Fear Factory. Three seconds. Two seconds. One second. 30% buff for the next one minute. 40 seconds. I need to see a gate here. I need to see how they plan on getting in. I guess they just attacked this thing here. They just attacked the gate itself. And Fear or Legendary pushed back that attempt. We'll head on over to this other gate. I wonder if they made it extremely difficult to take it down as a sacrifice for losing two defensive towers. That would make the most sense to me. Fear Factory, 45 seconds remaining on their 30% buff. I don't know what that was about. I saw a big red dot on the map. I went toward it. There's a big snowman there. Maybe it gives them a, a slight buff or something. Whoever kills it. The altar of wind has been reset. Fear Factory has lost a 30% buff. And they are back to getting their own altar imprint now. Over halfway. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, 30% buff in the next 60 seconds. Well, these are still back there. This is a little disconcerting right here, not seeing all the extra icons. It almost makes me want to do a Castle Siege video. That I haven't done in, what, a year, almost? Twenty-five seconds remaining in Fear Factory's 30% buff. Legendary. Doing a decent job, I guess, of not allowing Fear Factory to break through their gate. Fear Factory going over to get Legendary's Alter Imprint. The altar of Earth has been 30 percent buff. One minute, forty seconds for Fear Factory. also makes me wonder how many crashes we're going to have. Because we're about two minutes before the first one. Unless they fix that. <laughs> Legendary. Hiding behind the gate. Throwing meteor showers and other spells at Fear Factory. 
And there's just a pile of bodies at the gate. That is hilarious right there. I want to see a gate go down. But it looks like it's super difficult to do that now. Fights all over the place. Fear Factory, 381 kills and rising. Legendary, 222. The altar of wind has been reset. Fear Factory getting their own altar imprint now. Thirty percent buff for the next sixty seconds. At least they're consistent. They're having a tough time getting through the gates, though, or at least a gate. I'm not gonna lie to you, that looks a lot like the old open siege where everyone just hid behind the gate and let the defensive towers do all the damage. Fear Factory, five seconds remaining in their 30% buff. Oh, we're approaching crash time. If it happens. Not to jinx myself or anything. Fact, you're interrupted. Interrupted again. Legendary trying for their own interrupted several times. Factory trying again. Over halfway. Thirty percent buff for the next fifty-five seconds for Fair Factory. Nothing going on there. going on here. A couple of dead people. Oh, looks like battle is back on. Twenty minutes remaining in this battle. Neither gate has been taken down. Thirty percent buff in the next one minute forty-five seconds for Fear Factory. What is going on here now? I guess one could assess that if they can't get into the gate in 30 minutes and get some Holy Artifact imprint time, the next tiebreaker would be... kills? 
if there is a t next tiebreaker, it could just remain in an unoccupied fortress for next week. I'm not really sure what's going on here. I wonder if this is a bug. Because at first it looked like they were attacking the gate itself, which would make sense. But then I just saw a bunch of red run away from the gate. Factory over halfway. Thirty percent buff in the next fifty-five seconds again. This is I'm super confused as to what is really going on here. I guess we'll find out in the end, in 17 minutes and 15 seconds, <laughs> if one of the tiebreakers is killed, kills. Because it doesn't look like, I mean, we're standing here staring at this. It doesn't look like they're actually attacking the gate. It looks like they're trying to attack the people on the other side of the gate. The altar of wind has been imprinted. Boy, if this is a bug, we are going to see a lot of pissed off people. No doubt. Because this is just a slugfest right now. If they can't get into these gates, because there are no defensive towers, because it's a bug. This is just what is what is really going on here. Just gonna beat the crap out of each other. Why not for 30 minutes? Happy Friday. I'll tell you one thing though, there is absolutely no reason to use reds if they can't figure out a way to get through that gate. Or if there is no way to get through that gate, there's no reason to use your red diamonds at all. And we are at the halfway mark in this battle, 15 minutes remaining. I'm basically just watching small skirmishes here and there. And watching people hide behind the gates. But what's the point of hiding? If they can't break through the gate, you might as well just go out there and have some fun. Unless there's something that I cannot see.
This is insane. Oh look, I ran through the gate. Ha ha. And they got people standing around. <gasps> but what's the point? <laughs> I guess the point is to see if kills is actually a tiebreaker or not. Because if nobody takes this, then the only tiebreaker is Holy Artifact Imprint Time. I'm going to get on Discord. I'm going to sit at one of the gates. I'm going to get on Discord. And I'm going to see if somebody knows what's actually going on here. I left a message on my Discord. We'll see if anybody says anything. Of course, if everybody's fighting, then they're probably at the same point right now. 11 minutes, 15 the seconds remaining. And they can't really talk until it ends. Because nobody can actually end this fight in the way it should be able to be ended. This makes for an extremely boring time if you can't do anything. But we are two thirds of the way through this battle, 10 minutes remaining. Fear Factory dominating in the kill death department. Just a brawl now. Because if there was a way to break that gate down, it would have been done so by now. I have no doubt in my mind, Fear Factory probably most likely 99.9% would have won this fight by now. Or at the very least, would have won by Holy Artifact imprint time. Of which they're not going to get because they can't get through the gate. Because there's no way to break it down, apparently. Legendary, just hiding behind the gates. 
biding their time, because what else is there to actually do? Some of them are fighting, though. Look at them, they're just grouped up at the gate, like open siege. It's terrible. You might as well die so you can just, you know, sit back and wait for the resurrection. It's not like it's hurting your team. Eight minutes remaining in this battle. And it cannot come soon enough. For the record, I was the one who picked to record this fight simply based off of the fact that I don't know these two clans. So it was nice to you know, get something new, but this is this is ridiculous. Uh, this is hilarious. I, I mean, I, I can't stop laughing. I really can't. What an utter waste of 30 minutes. I guess on a positive note, I haven't crashed like I did the last two weeks. Six minutes remaining in this battle. Yeah, this nobody's gonna waste reds for this. It must not just be me. So it's either a bug, or maybe it's, there's some kind of a buff that the clans need to buy that they didn't buy. I mean, I don't know what's going on here. Ends in five minutes. The altar of Earth and printing has been reset. I mean, look at that. There's just people that probably haven't moved in 24 and a half minutes. 25 and a half minutes. This person... Y'all saw that, right? A red name inside. Or that's just another bug.
Oh, there's another red name that got inside. Standing there. Well, then again, by at this time, the uh, the cooldown to revive is probably pretty long. The altar of wind has been imprinted. Oh, I just saw legendary's leader. Oh yeah, it's Metsy. We know Metsy. Eleven oh eight. I haven't seen uh, Fear Factory's leader though, have I? I already forgot. This this fight is so boring. I already forgot if I saw their leader or not. I'm pretty sure I did in the beginning. Ah, two and a half minutes remaining in this battle. No, that's right. Psycho something or other. What a massive waste of time this is right here. But you know, can I looked at the list of the servers that were consolidated. I mean, they really crammed a bunch of servers together. I mean, this, this game is dying. You know, only the hardcore are remaining right now. And even that's going to eventually end. Especially with this garbage right here. Where you can't even get into the gate to try to win the game. The altar of Earth and printing has I'm pretty been sure Netmarrel has made their money off of Lineage 2 Revolution. Over the last two, and a, two years plus. I mean, what else do they, could they possibly care about right now? The altar of Earth has been imprinted. Less than a minute and a half remaining. Before we find out if kills are a tiebreaker or not. Battle 60 ends. seconds remaining. Thirty seconds before we find out. Whiskey Tangle Fox Shot is going on here. Ten seconds. The altar of wind has been reset. And Congratulations to absolutely nobody for that stupidity. Here are your stats. That tells us that kills are not a tiebreaker in the event of a Holy Artifact imprint time tie, I guess I should say. There's your stats for Legendary. Congratulations to that individual. And the next five after him for taking one through six. Yes, that tells us that the only way to win this battle is through full... Whoa! Don't know what happened there. Full imprint time or having the most holy artifact imprint time. And there are your stats. Yeah, these people won.
Olympus 1. Seer 1. Impact, Oblivion, Unruly. So S's. That, nobody won that. Potatoes won that. Nobody won that. Transcendence, Adaraxi, Red Devils, Redemption, Yangar. So only these two fortresses didn't... I wonder if it's a bug just a, a, on these two. I wonder if it's just a bug on these two. Yeah, everybody else. Okay, well, there you have it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And leave a comment down below about what actually happened during this battle. Where were the defensive towers? Let me know if you know anything. I would highly appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.